because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to do something a little bit differently today. Um, several people have asked me how do I come up with these numbers. You know, sometimes I'm a little better at picking the highs and lows than I usually am, but I'm pretty close sometimes, and they wonder how I did this. Well, my studies on this started many, many years ago. I've been doing this for over six decades now, actively. And uh, what I'd like to do is go over a book that was written by one of my very, very dear friends who lives over in London, and he wrote a book called The Plato and the Koran, and it talked about numbers. Now, he, he, he came to work with me uh, for about a week, oh, it must have been 15 years ago or more, and he liked it so much, he ended up staying, I think, a second week, and then uh, since that time, he's invited Sarah and I over to London at least once a year to spend a week or more with him and uh, as his guest, and it's always been great. But he spent a lifetime studying these numbers, and he wrote this book. And what I'm going to try to do is just briefly go over the foundation. This is the this is the rocks on the stuff that we work with, folks. It's all based on numbers. If I could ever get away from even thinking about a fundamental or anything else, I would be great. But you know, all these little things that have been going on in my life, you always think about the one the fundamentals that are coming in, and they they really don't mean very much. Starting with Plato, this was about 348 BC. Now remember, this was six, uh, 300 years before Pythagoras. We'll get to him in just a minute. But he said, in every diagram, system of numbers, every scheme of harmony, every law of moment of the stars ought to appear to those who slight study it rightly. Well, folks, I have studied it rightly. Not much as my good friend nor Bersar, but I've tried to study it. So what we're going to do here is in this, this just a few slides, because I want to get to it real life, real life slides when we get back. That's where you start to understand But This is where it all started. Plato's talked about the 25,920 year cycle. If there's going to be an end to this civilization as we know it, it'll probably be in 25,920. Now, if it doesn't get to that, let me know, okay, because I'll probably still be here. Here's Plato's numbers of harmony. Now, these are numbers that you can see here, and they're relationships of one to the other. But these numbers are the same numbers that when we watch these markets, they repeat over and over again. Andrew Lowe in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street, spent a great deal of time, and he came to the conclusion that even though the market was chaotic, when chaos are these patterns that repeat over and over, and they repeat in such a way that they can be predictable. And then the final two words were within limits, and therein lies the words, because they don't always work. As we look at the next one here, this shows, I'm going to show you the relationships that uh, Norris posted out. This comes from a lot of different books, which he's posted on here, but he studied it in relation to the markets. In other words, you start with the big cycle, and you get down to the little cycle that Benoit Mandelbrot did in fractals. You're looking at the pretty much the same thing. You can see the diameter of the sun is 864,000 miles, okay? Look at the distance between the Earth and the diameter of the Earth. Of, of the Earth. Okay, that is 2160. And then if you start looking at all of these numbers, this goes back to the Sumerian kings of all these things. I'm not, in, I'm not even sure how much these numbers, where they came from or anything, but I've seen his PowerPoint presentation probably half a dozen times at least. And uh, it's the most amazing thing. Uh, this is just a tiny, tiny bit uh, of what's in it. But I just wanted you to see that as you look at these things, he looks at many different cultures, not through Sumerian, Babylonian, and Indian, and uh, you know, it just he's looked at everything, and they all come up with these same numbers. 
And as you can see here, I'm probably going to um, uh, chop this up because it's uh, such a long-term cycle and some of these things that doesn't really uh, do that. But here's what, here's what he was getting to. As you get to the pyramids, and this is just one of the many books by Volvo and Hancock. Uh, the book that I got interested in was uh, Peter Tompkins, Secrets of the Great Pyramids. And, you know, people realize that the pyramid is basically a library in stone. If you take the base of the pyramid, which is roughly 790 feet, divided by the height, which is 454, it comes out to 0.618 exactly and the pyramid is a it's actually it's five-sided if you look at it from the top the pyramid sets on the exact polar center of the earth in other words that's where you calculate north south east and west that's zero degrees right where the pyramids there is in giza about 30 miles from downtown uh, egypt as you'll notice here as we look at some of these others now all this stuff is in his book folks here's where he talks about the pyramids and how the relationships of heights and weights this can be bought on amazon just go to www.amazon.com and ask for the plato and the quran it's q u r a n by nor basar n o r r b o s r h okay and uh, these are some of the things that uh, you'd get about. And here is uh, in the numbers of the Bible, they call the numbers of the beast. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how they come up with these, but they, these numbers are so so obvious everywhere, folks. What I try to do is try to relate them into the trading. You know, this is what I'm trying to do is the foundation. Folks, I've got several thousand books that I've got. Some of them I understand, some of them I don't. And then Peter uh, it tells, tells about all these things. The numbers, if you study the numbers that are in the Bible, you'll come up with numbers that repeat over and over and over and over again. But people are not exposed to it. They read what the words are. They don't read what the real numbers are. Here's the one about the Noah and all the stuff about, you know, how the Noah was built and all these numbers. And, you know, when you look at them at first, you know, well, maybe they mean something they don't. But when you put it into a puzzle and see that it relaxed everywhere, 25,920, that's the circumference of the earth. And this is what the book looks like. It's the Plato and the Quran. If you want to give yourself a really nice early Christmas present or something, it really fits in with this. It's very, very heavy. It weighs about two pounds, but it's got some great diagrams and things in it. So I, I highly recommend it, it's, uh, given uh, the fact that it's basically the life's work of somebody who's really smart, just happens to be a good friend of mine, is uh, it's really, really worth the uh, really worth the effort to look at it. Because what we're going to do when we come back to the break, we're going to take a look at some of these numbers as they're happening right now, because that's where the real key is going to lie as we look at some of these things here uh, unfolding uh, here today as we watch uh, some of these markets. So remember now, tomorrow uh, we're going to have Bill Meridian. He'll be on uh, to uh, watch the uh, to give his, his uh, recap of where the markets are. Boy, if we ever needed a recap. Bill is certainly the guy that you want to be able to uh, able to do it with because uh, he's a pretty smart dude, and uh, we should be able to find out some things from him that uh, ought to be uh, very very interesting. I think we've got a a break coming up here shortly. Let me double check here with the old clock on the wall. We got 49 seconds. Again, if you go to Amazon and just type in Plato and the Quran, Q U R E N by Norbasar, you'll get some of these. Are, these are numbers that we use in the market, folks. All all we do is we take Take these numbers down to the smaller micro level, much like what Benoit Mandelbrot did on the fractal analysis to see that went because it originally starts with something and that's what we start with with the market. So take a break here and we'll be right back. So Started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter. Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're going to go over some of these markets. Here is the mini S&P. If you remember, we thought it was going to stop at around 51.05. We went up to 51.25. We went a little bit higher than the 382 retracement uh, on this one. So we're going to look at them, all four of them, one at a time here. As we take a look here, hold on one second. I've got to turn this off. Otherwise, it's going to beep. And I need to get moving over here just a little bit. Okay, uh, hold on one second. Just give me a second here. I do them one at a time. Next one we're going to look at is the Russell. And we'll come up here and take a look at the Russell. It is right here. And we'll get it up. And you'll see, hold on here. We'll get this Russell up on here. The uh, I think we were doing that on the hourly chart on the Russell, I believe. And uh, we did make the 382 uh, on the Russell. It stopped so far. It's been down a little bit today. Really not uh, doing very much. But the one that, for to me, which was uh, one of the most interesting, of course, here was the NASDAQ. And if you remember, I spent a lot of time on that NASDAQ uh, thinking that it was going to stop uh, right there. Remember, we were watching it to stop right at the 61% return, uh, excuse me, the 382 of that move, which was right there. Okay, I think we were looking at it. Uh, on an hourly, if I recall, it should be still on here. Yes, there it is right here. You see, we thought it was going to make it to right here, but it did not. It went a little bit higher than, of course, it's, it's rolled over uh, to the downside. So what I was looking at here was the fact that it should have stopped right here, and then it backed off, and then this morning it kept all the way up. I was up about 300 points, I think two, about 250 points, and then it sort of paid, uh, started to roll down. Folks, here's my feeling here, now if I'm right on this, if the market does turn around and goes below this level right here, down several hundred points, this is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If we get down here and it's this area on Friday, what I believe is going to happen 
is what we were thinking of in the long run, which is that we could be looking and hey, listen, this is a could be, would be, might be, and should be, but we could be looking at a move like this, and that would be uh, you know rather substantial. It would be just like the one that we had right here. You're, you're talking about uh, at least uh, 13,000 points uh, in the. Uh, uh, let's try that. A bit, you know, let's try to get 1,300 points in the Nasdaq in just a short period of time, if that in fact occurs. But again, you know, this is not something that we're expecting. We're just saying there's a probability that could be happening, and nothing more. Probability precedes precision. I just made that up. I don't know what it means. Hold on here. Let's get up here and take a uh, another one that we want to be watching. Okay, now let's just get to kicks and giggles here. Many weeks ago, we were very, very bullish, the wheat market, if you'll remember. I wanted to get this here and show you, because here's where we are right now. Okay, now let's just walk through this together. Now, here's the 61%, it's a daily chart, boys and girls, so this isn't rocket science. Okay, here's your uh, ABCD pattern coming in right here. Now, remember, there's where we were right there. Now, you see this move right here? We, we talked about that several times. We did it with the May wheat, but once we broke through that, that's taken us up to this level right here where we're trading right now here at uh, 656. Okay, now, is that going to be the high for anything? With this power like this, you'd have to say it's most probably going to expand. But let's look at it on a little bit longer time frame. We know for one thing that it is setting right at the 78% level right here, okay? That's where we know that it's setting right there. Now, if we go back a little bit farther, all right, we're going to go back and all the way back when wheat was way back here. This was after the high was made. It came down. Remember, the $13 wheat, we came down, made this double top. So we're going to take it off of that. That was an amazing top. So if you go from this high down to this low, my goodness, it comes in at the same price. Maybe, 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 or maybe not. It means anything, but fact that it might that the thing that's that's difficult is the fact that it's not a quiet market this is a very very powerful market okay now let's just go back and go back what Plato said things that repeat over and over again and the repetition is there for us to look at so if you go back and look at some of these moves that are through here again there's you see this one well, let's just do it together here just for a second this is this is what 20 men and I well 20 men had the concept he actually got it from a book like uh and Twentyman happens to be a good friend of Bassar too. There's, a, let's just do it the right way, Larry. Hold on, I'm trying to show you the concept of harmonic numbers. Another market comes down like this. Okay, uh, it's got the wrong tool. Uh, this is the one I want right here. The market comes down like this. Okay, now it makes a move. Remember, this is a daily. It's a move here, a move here, and a, just about. A, yeah, there's your move there. Then you have one and it starts to expand. Now it's repeating and it's repeating. See that number, how it repeats? You can go back here and look at other swings, and this is what the computer will do for you to see how many times you find that same swing. And what it'll be is when you have a swing like this and it extends, what it does, it goes up and it doubles. And just put that double one right there and you'll see you're very, very close to the high. And then of course you have an expansion of these numbers. They're all related. You know, to these numbers that we're talking about, Fibonacci numbers that are very, very important. So that's something that you want to keep in mind as you're watching these markets unfold because uh, they're going to be around for a long time. And our goal is to make sure that we can make you doing the same thing. Now, let's take a quick look at silver here because we had a real interesting move here in silver last night. Move this over from the high we made here just the other day right here. This was a secondary high. Remember, that was the one on Friday. Today's high was exactly, guess what, you named it, 382 of that move right there. On the gold, it missed it by $1. The number was supposed to be uh, 23.52. It went to 23.50.90, a dollar ten from the exact number that we were looking for. So one second while I give a little bit of a aqua. Folks, this is the first time in 90 years that the state or the city of Tucson has not hit 100 degrees during the month of April. The high so far in April has been 91, and this is the first time in 90 years 
that we're not going to get it. So by golly, the global climate, global warming has certainly been right, but not this year. But it's still early. We still got another four, another week from uh, today uh, to look at it. So I think how much time we have left on this next break here? Oh, we got a whole minute and 20 seconds. Okay, let's get rid of the silver and we'll take a look at the gold since we're watching the gold. Those of you that are short the bonds, like we suggested, we uh, certainly uh, suggest that you uh, get down here. Oh, dear. <laughs> Seeing a great sale in the stock market, but unfortunately, we're not going to do that. Here's where we are right now in the gold. What we're doing now is we're going to go to the hourly so we can see it real easy. Okay, there was the 382 this morning. You see where it misses it by just a dollar. Then we've come down. This was a real easy buy right here, folks. You see the nice ABCD in a really strong tent. This gold still has a chance because if it can break out above this, uh, so, well, no, shucks, just to get the right one in here. You'll see if it can break out above this one right here. We came right down to the 50% retracement, then went to the 382. That's going to tell us whether we roll over or not. Okay, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with uh, Bob Miner. And uh, so stay tuned. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, we're here with Bob Miner, I believe. Robert, are you there, my friend? I'm here. Robert, we've been friends for damn near 40 years, and you have to tell everybody that I'm not very good with technical stuff when it comes to the computer, and I've screwed up this chart. So basically, folks, I've asked I, I can, Bob. I can attest to everybody listening. You have no <laughs> competency with anything technical. I'm surprised you can answer the phone. Uh, well, I have somebody hand it to me after it rings, you know. Anyway, uh, Bob runs DynamicTraders.com, and he's written a book about the election cycle. that has got some really fabulous uh, information in it, and he sent this chart along with me yesterday, and it, it fits in with what we're looking for. We're thinking we're going to get a low here sometime this spring and a high. You want to explain to the folks – some of this work, Bob, and why they need to spend a few bucks to go to Amazon to get it because it's got some great cycle work in it. So tell us what you're looking at right here about these key factors and how it all started because you put it all together, and I, th I think it's a great book. So tell us about it. Okay. Um, yeah, I first started uh, writing about the uh, election cycle in the late 90s. I, I actually still have some of the booklets I wrote back then. and uh, But nobody had really – done a comprehensive study of it and looked at it from other than just doing simple averages of past, you know, election years, that sort of thing. So uh, the book is, I mean, if you trade stocks, if you trade indexes, you don't have the book. you got to be crazy <laughs> because it's the only source. <laughs> How much is it, Bob? But How much is it? 50 bucks? Say again? How much is it? 50 bucks? Oh, no, it's 47. Oh, well, it's on sale. Okay, great. Go ahead. <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But the chart that I sent you, and so that's of immediate interest, uh, it should be, for anybody trading stocks. Th this shows uh, the the average trends just from the spring low to the summer high, from around spring and uh, the summer, uh, because that, for an election year, is the most consistent trend um, of any other time within an election year, and it's very consistent. Um, I've only got a little bit of the information here for you. I'm going to tell you a little bit more, but this chart shows all election years since 52. That's the blue line, and the kind of orange line is just those election years where a Democrat was running. And uh, the uh, gray line is just those years when an incumbent was running, which is either Democrat or Republican. And uh, as you can see, when it's an incumbent or a Democrat running, uh, the, the returns are substantially more than in general. So we're, we're really in that year because we have a, a Democrat running for re-election, first-term Democrat. And forget politics. This is just data. <laughs> is that, <laughs> at least in history, is you have the best opportunity from a spring low to a summer high. Uh, and it's just a very strong a bullish trend. Now, I think we'll look at the S&P chart in a minute. We're in the, in the midst of a correction, which has maybe a few weeks to go. But the really the ideal time based on the election cycle is spring go to summer high. We would see, be sideways to down into about the second half of May. And it's from around the second half of May into the end of September that has the most consistent, the strongest bull trend over the past 70 years anyway. So it's giving us a good heads up to uh, be alert come near the end of May at least. Well, that's really it. That's really, really good to know. Doesn't, wasn't there a market ad that used to say sell in May and go away? But I don't know if anybody approved that. I just heard it in the past in some of these old books. That oh. I've looked at. <laughs> well, I've certainly heard of it also, uh, but I'm not sure this is the year you want to do that. It, uh, okay. By the end of May, I think uh, you'll want to well, be, right, have a heads up. <laughs> the election cycle would be a four-year period that could be different than any other out of those 70 years, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah. Every every uh, every year within the election cycle also has its own unique periods of time, which have a really strong bias one way or another. 
Um, I go in the book, of course, why you don't want to just focus on averages because you have to know the underlying data, how it's spread, uh, and that sort of thing. And I give a, I'll show you in a minute if you got that other slide. I, I don't have that other slide, Bob. That's why I was bringing out my technical difficulties. Just I can't find it. I looked okay. everywhere. I looked in the trash. I looked in, I looked in somebody else's. Well, now I, I just, uh, it's hard for me to find do we it. Have I'm sorry. About two, do we have about two minutes? So I can uh, tell yes, people what. Yeah, sure. Please do. You got. We got another three minutes. Far away. Two key factors. One, there's one you've already seen. There's been a really strong bullish trend, spring low to summer high, in election year. So that's the, the a little closer look. So for the comparable election years to 2024, those would be those election years that had a strong bullish first quarter which is what we've had this year, uh, for those years, there's only one year since 1950 that did not exceed the March high by the end of summer. Now think what that means. That means if by chance the market sideways to down, let's say for a few weeks, the bias of 100% of, for the last 70 years has been that eventually before the end of summer, before September 20th, the S&P will then recover and continue beyond the March high. So really, really, that's a practical piece of information to have if a market's making a correction in June, and okay. that knowing that we know what the March high is now, knowing that by uh, the September 20th, at least based on history, SPX has always tested or exceeded that level. That's a real piece uh, of information you can use to make sure is. specific it sure uh, trade. Is. Yeah. Listen, Bob, I'll tell you what we'll do. In two weeks, we'll have you on, and we'll, we'll get some of your market predictions, too, and we'll go over some of these charts that are in the book, and I'll try to be better prepared and put them in a place where I won't lose them. <laughs> okay. But, uh, <laughs> Hey, thanks. Thanks for joining us, Bob. I really appreciate it. Your work is uh, really exemplary. You should be proud of the of the stuff Super. that you've learned over these years. You uh, people don't remember it. Bob used to be one of the best. He was the best GAN aficionado in the business, but uh, he went far beyond GAN with this stuff. So congratulations, Robert. Dynamic Traders is a force of nature. Fantastic. We'll see you in a few weeks. You bet. Bob Miner, folks, dynamictraders.com. Uh, if you have an interest now hold on one second here and i think we have a break coming up uh, shortly in 55 seconds tomorrow we're going to have a uh, bill meridian uh, as our guest it is his birthday i believe he's going to hit the eighth furlong pole no i think he's around 77 or something like that but he'll be our guest uh, talking about some of the cycles that he works on uh, and then on friday we're going to have our live trading between 9 and 12 and then what we'll do at the uh, uh, end of the day, I'll still do the show on Friday. So stay with us, and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. 
When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I've been asked by some of our uh, folks that uh, belong to the 24-7 20, Fibonacci group to ask why soybean oil is not working. Well, folks, that's part of the advanced course that I've not even been able to take. We bought it here at 46.23. It went down to this level. Our stop was here at the right below this level. We went back yesterday. We got back to even, and now it's down another uh, $200 from where it is right now. Now, our stop is right below this level right here. Now, it may or may not work. So that's all I can say, folks. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And that's why you've got to put a stop in and protect yourself. Let's look at this on a little shorter time frame. We'll get it up here on a 13-minute, and we'll see here that we actually okay, we're going to have a good chance here at this holding. This is that over the last five days okay now we had a run up now if you believe in ABCDs you can see what we have going now in soybean oil is the there's your a leg right there there <laughs> uh, I got to do it when I do the wrong one there's your a B leg right here here's your CD leg it's going to come in here down another few points that would be where you're going to find now folks I'm going to give you a real, real sound piece of advice here, okay? Even though, and I mean this sincerely, even though 4550 is going to be a really good spot, that's down $200, and you bought it right here, uh, you bought it right there is where you bought it. Uh, no, uh, 46, we bought it at 4620. We bought it right here, and now it's going to be right there. For God's sakes, if you do anything in your life in trading, do not. Do not add to a position right here. I will tell you that because adding to a loser, that little painting behind me, you can see, I don't know if you can see that thing up back over there or not, uh, should be able to see it. A number one rule on that painting, hand-painted oil by a very famous artist that painted for Ronald and Nancy Reagan, it says, never add to a losing position. When I first started learning with John Hill back in the 70s, he took me under his wing and he said to me, Larry, he says, there is no more stupid trade that you can have is to add to a losing position. And I have to agree with him. Now, I watch all these guys and they do that and they don't call it don't adding to a losing position. They call it scaling in. And you know how you clean a fish, don't you? You scale the fish is off. You take off the scales first. That's pretty much what it amounts to. When I traded on the floor, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, uh, the first week I was back there was with um, 
uh, Mary Lind. I was clearing through Lind Waldock. I had bought Jack Waldock seed, and so I was, you know, given a little bit of preferential treatment. But I had done thousands of trades for Barry Lind and cleared them when I was at Drexel. So he sat down with me and he said, "Look, we've been friends for eight, nine years now." And he said, "I want to make your stay here in Chicago as profitable as it possibly can be." He says, "What can I do?" I said, "Barry, if I'm holding position, and at the beginning of the third day on my equity run." It's still at a loss. Can you liquidate it immediately? He said, we can put that into the computers that if you open on the third day and you have a losing position, we'll just take it off. And he said, well, I said, I want you to take it off. So during the next uh, three years when I was there on the floor, oh, probably half a dozen times that uh, the uh, – you know, the trades got executed, and uh, they would come up to me, and he said, uh, uh, the first one, it said, uh, you know, you're scheduled to be out. And I said, I don't want to be scheduled to be out. I wanted to be put in that I'll be out. And so I did. And what Barry did at the next, over that time period, he showed me something that was really, truly amazing. Every single time, and I think there were six times, if I would reverse my position, in other words, if I was long, got stopped out, and reverse and went short, Every single one of those six trades would have been a big winner. So that's why you don't want to add to a losing position, folks. It's tantamount to, oh, it's just not very good. That's basically the basic bottom line. Now, let's take a quick look at the corn here. So we get up here, get this out of the way, and we're going to come over here to the corn. That's the way. Let's get over here to corn. Corn will be right here. We bought the corn correctly, and it has moved a little bit, but... Not moved much, but it's still hanging in okay. Here's where we are with the corn. The same same principle that we were doing here. Let's get this up here so everybody can see it. I'll clean all this out. There's the there's your Gartley that we bought. There's nothing new here. You can see ABCD right here. We bought it here. We've had the same high two days in a row here. We're up just about $500. We're up one, two, three, four days in a row. We have not taken this high out. So what I would do is I would bring my stop right here. To uh, just, uh, you know, this is such a big pattern, though. I, I just think you got to put your stop down here at 63. And if you get stopped out, you make 200 bucks. And that means it's probably going to go lower. And we'll try it again. But I put your stop at uh, 464. That way you, you uh, line up a, a profit of $200. You become, you've been a farmer now for one, two, three, four days, five days, and you've made 500 bucks. Now, if it pops through here, and a lot of the people that Rich Anderson follow, believe, and Rich is pretty smart, if you take this ABCD pattern on the upside, it's going to take you all the way up here to the uh, 494 level. See, now, if you get to that level, then you've made, you know, well over $1,000, and that makes at least 50, 60. No, you made $1,500 at that point, and that makes it, uh, that makes it uh, worthy of a, of a really super trade. So you're only risking a couple hundred here. And a couple hundred is your profit. You're risking a couple hundred of your profit to make this, which would that's a 30 cent move in corn, which is 1500. And if we move it over to just a little bit, you'll see you're still in a massive downtrend here. Okay, so you want to go back to the last high, and guess what that's going to be, folks? Do you think these numbers that old Plato was talking about and Pythagoras don't mean anything? That's a 61 percent retracement off of here, just like just like Tesla, folks. We were looking at the old. Tesla chart. Let me get it up here so you'll be able to see it just like this. There's your old Tesla chart right there. And same old, same old. Different tricks, but different days and different things. Let's take a look at uh, Apple. Someone always wants to ask about Apple. I believe we have Apple still in a pretty significant downtrend, as I recall here. Mr. Appel, he's down by the well. Let's see how he's doing today. Well, it's having a little bit of a bounce. Let's check the bounce out. We've come down to this level right here. We did, I think we made a little ABCD here on the daily. Let's double check. That's a small one, but uh, uh, didn't quite make it. But now we're having a pretty good rally back today. Let's see what the 382 rally will be on uh, Apple. Because if it's really bearish oh, so far, that's been the high of the day. 69.53. So we'll see uh See what happens uh, to that level right there. I'm going to have a break coming up. By the way, I've you know I've spent a lot of time looking for a three-day correction, and we've got it. And it could be a four, five, six-day correction, I guess. But right now, it looks like it. If it closes badly here, folks, 
uh, in these next few days. And believe me, you can see how quickly these markets can change. It's going to tell you that uh, you've got to be really careful because uh, right now it looks pretty good, but things can change in a heartbeat. So let's uh, keep that in mind as we look at some of these things unfold. How much time we have here? we got 30 seconds. Just oh, we're finishing up. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm back, and you know, we're having great volatility in these markets. I uh, think it's going to continue. Uh, for quite some time, uh, as I said, uh, for the last week or so after we made that bottom, we could go Friday uh, on the 19th, and here we are into Wednesday, the previous. I look for three solid days, maybe four, maybe five. Uh, right now, it looks like it could be three, unless we take out the uh, 5130 uh, in the S&P, then it could go out for another two days, but uh, it shouldn't be any more than five days. That would be the longest you would be expecting it. And uh, you can notice here the market gives up and the Dow gives up uh, two, three hundred points and you blink your eyes and it's back 200 points. So this is not for the faint of heart. 
but just remember to use stops and uh, you know always protect yourself on the backside because nobody else is going to do it for you. And above all, and above all, don't under any circumstances add to a losing position. Not a good idea. You certainly don't want to do that. Okay. Very, very important. Now, those of you that sold that wheat up there when it was at uh, 457 is now you're up about three cents, four cents. So put your stop a little above that, and you won't have to uh, worry about it too much. Because your stops are there for your protection, folks. If you don't put a stop in, you're telling Mother Market that, wow, maybe I more know more than you do. And I can give you the answer to that one, boys and girls. Nebahachi, as Tonto would say, that the Lone Ranger never happened. And so make sure you always use a stock stop because if you don't, you're looking at something that's pretty dangerous and you don't want to have that uh, into your power of uh, trading and stuff like that. There's no question about that. All right. By the way, if you're looking for a timing cycle, we're due to turn down in the stocks just about now. So uh, keep your eye on that just to see if it does. But the next five, 10 minutes. We should start to roll over. We're going to see if we're going to be right on Friday because we're going to be doing the same kind of stuff. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.